Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and today we're going to be going over the 2019 Nissan Armada. So as always, we will do a quick walk around on the vehicle, and then we're gonna take it out to see how it drives. And then a big shout out and thank you to Tim Daly Nissan of Murray here for providing us with the vehicle. If you are on the market for a Nissan, definitely check these guys out, they will hook you up. And if you are stopping in for the first time, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. So popping under the hood here, we have a 5.6 liter V8 that's all routed through a seven speed automatic transmission. In terms of power outputs, you're gonna get 390 horsepower and 394 pound feet of torque. Fuel economy numbers are going to be 14 around town and 19 on the highway. And then finishing things up front, we've got these projector bulbs up front with some LED accent lighting right there. And you can see that you've got the turn signals integrated at the top of the light, fog lamps down below with some parking sensors for the front. And the overall grill design on this is actually pretty large. It um, kind of like shares its design with the Titan. They look very, very similar from the front end and it's just kind of like this large, um, bigger front end and it's got some nice chrome accenting as well. Now coming around to the side, first and foremost, you notice the V8 badging on the side and then we have these 20 inch machine finished alloy wheels. They have a really good look to them. They almost look fully black, but there are some kind of like metallic inserts on them and I definitely like the look of those. Now we'll finish the rest of the side view. You can see there's some running boards on the side. We'll go over that in a little bit, but just so you can get the proportions of the vehicle as a whole, it's absolutely massive. So popping around the back here, we can see the key fob for the Armada. You've got a bunch of different functions on it. You've got your remote start, lock and unlock, and then you have your tailgate release as well. To the remote start, you just have to lock the Armada and then you hold down the remote start button right there. And then you hear that 5.6 liter V6 start right up. And then to turn it off, you can actually just hold that remote start button down again and that'll shut it right off. Now the other function on the tailgate, hold down the button for the tailgate release and that'll open up your rear hatch right there. And it is power operated. So we can kind of pop back here and you notice there's actually a decent amount of space um, back here in the trunk. Most of these third row SUVs, you actually don't have a good amount of space. So it's nice that they give you a good amount of space back here and you actually do get a 12 volt power outlet back there as well. Now we do have a couple buttons here so you can see that you can actually fold down the rear row via just a button and then you can actually fold it back up as well. So it's nice that they give you both functions so it's not manual one way and power the other way. And they are reclining in this rear seat as well. And then the top of tailgate, there is a button to lower down the tailgate as well. And while that's coming down, we can see that there are parking sensors integrated into the bottom bumper. The exhaust is just down there. And we do get the nice platinum badging since this is the platinum trim package. But there's these LED lights that kind of wrap around to the side. I've always liked the look of these lights in the back. They kind of go over with the overall kind of like boxier design that the Armada has. Now coming out of the front, again, we can see those running boards. Those will make getting in and out of the SUV a lot easier. And it might be better to look at the other side since this panel is still all covered in plastic, a brand new vehicle. But you can see the door panel on the other side. It's nicely wrapped with leather. You've got some contrasted stitching as well. You've got some wood trim with the speaker integrated there. Overall, it looks like a very, very nice door panel. Now we actually are going to take a peek at the rear seats there. There's actually a decent amount of legroom in those rear seats for a third row. And then the second row here is a bench in this particular vehicle and there is a ton of leg space back here so no problems on that. And then you see that you can pull this out right here so you get little cup holders or you can double it as an armrest. You've got your controls for your heated seats in the back here. You've got a couple controls for the DVD system since there are TVs mounted on the backs of the seats. And then your climate controls are back here as well. Now coming up to the front here, we can see again, the running boards come all the way up to the front, but it's got keyless entry, so one touch to lock it. And then you just have to press it again and that will unlock the car. You'll get more of that nice leather padding up front with the contrasted stitching. Nice leather bolsters here and they're actually really, really thick so it's really comfortable to put your arm right there. All of your window controls are going to be up front. Mirror controls are going to be there as well. You got your memory seats with more of that wood trim. Now we've got fully power adjustable seats in the front here with lumbar and we've got this nice like contrasted kind of like brown piping on the seats. It looks really good again with the stitching and the seats up front are really comfortable. They're kind of like wider bolstered seats so you're gonna have tons of space right there and then if we flip over here we can see the pedal layout 
and then we got our controls for the heated steering wheel and then you can see the controls for the power lift tailgate there as well now we can step in here and step in height's actually really good it's really easy to get in and out of the armada with those running boards but to start up the armada all you have to do is just put your foot on the brake and push the push start and the armada will start right up now looking at the steering wheel here on the armada we have our controls for the adaptive cruise control right here and then we've got all of our controls for the radio bluetooth and then you have your controls for the center screen here as well and we'll go over that center screen momentarily so first off to control the center screen it's actually these buttons up here and if we go over to the center screen you can see that on the right side you've got your speed on the left side you've got your rpms and then in the center you've got like a little tiny configurable center screen basically to give you fuel economy um, tire pressure just little tidbits of information on the vehicle and then before we go over the touch screen this does come with the Bose sound system so it's more premium sound system but here's your center screen and it kind of doubles up with both so there is a touch screen system with this that you can see that you can just do little touch screen functions on it for your bluetooth radio navigation all that but then they do double up with analog controls just down below so you guys know that i'm a big fan of having both analog controls and having touch screen controls so that you can basically work the infotainment system based on your preference and then the other function on the touchscreen is the camera system so you can see you've got a backup camera with trajectory lines and you see it gives me trajectory lines for the front with the 360 camera system and you see that i can change different views on the camera as well so you can see i can go to different angles on the camera so this is a little bit larger vehicle so it's nice that they give you all these different camera views that you can basically go through so then you can park this vehicle a lot easier now coming down below here we've got more of this wood trim all of the analog controls for the radio are going to be here and then you actually do have a cd player Not a lot of vehicles have that anymore and then you've got your analog climate controls just down below that and then you have your controls for the heated and ventilated seats just right here there are these little dials you can switch between the two and then you've got some power outlets and charging stations right there as well now we have our shifter here for the seven speed automatic transmission there is a dual shift mode so if you want to shift the gears yourself you can and then just below that we have our drive mode select so you can see you've got a snow mode right now you just have it in automatic mode that's what you have it in most of the time when you're doing regular driving conditions and then you do have a tow mode as well and then you can switch between four high and four low four low we're really not going to use unless you do off-roading with the vehicle and then your electronic stability control is just down there and then the storage space here, it's kind of cool. You get these little storage pockets that you can open up and some cup holders as well, but it's nice that they cover it up. So if you want it to have like a clean look, the center console here, it's got some nice stitching on it, padded very nicely as well. And you can open this up and there's even more storage space and some charging stations in there. So it's nice that they give you all this extra storage in the Armada. Now we've got our glove box over here. It's actually massive. This is one of the biggest glove boxes that I've ever seen. So you'll be able to put a ton of stuff up in there. And then up top, we can see that we have a sunroof. The controls to the sunroof are just right here to open or close the sunroof. And then you actually get some sunglass holders. And a lot of vehicles aren't even offering those anymore. But it's nice that they give you a sunroof to let a little bit of extra light into the cabin. And it's just a traditional sunroof. There is not a full panoramic roof. But to wrap things up on the interior, it's definitely a nicer, more upscale interior. It's nice that they give you all the leather and just the comfort. This just feels like a very comfortable car to be in. But that being said, let's take the 2019 Armada out to see how it drives. We're setting off here in the 2019 Nissan Armada and first and foremost like I kind of said when I was doing the walk around the vehicle it's just it's such a big vehicle and so it definitely just it makes you feel so safe just sitting in it being said though this vehicle even though it feels like this big you know safe vehicle to be in it's not that hard to drive like it doesn't feel like this massive scary vehicle where you're kind of like uncomfortable to drive it or anything like that ride quality is actually really really smooth so it's just floating along the road this is you know one of the more smooth vehicles that i have driven and especially for the size of suv that it is it definitely has a super smooth ride the steering feel on the armada is super super light so it's even though it's a bigger vehicle it's really light steering it's really easy to turn and so on that aspect it's super comfortable now in terms of the acceleration 
This 5.6 liter V8 actually has more than enough power. It is naturally aspirated. I know that a lot of competitors are going for turbocharged motors, but the nice thing about these naturally aspirated engines is the power is a little bit more linear, but then on top of that, less moving parts, so the vehicle is gonna be more reliable on the long term. Visibility throughout the whole SUV is actually really good. There's a ton of visibility through all of the windows. They're really big and you can see pretty much everything around you and that surround view camera system makes it so that it'll be parking this a lot easier. And the visibility over the hood is actually really good. You have the, the seat is kind of like higher up and so you've got this nice commanding view of the road but then it's also really easy to see over the hood as well. Let's get a little bit more of an acceleration with this so we can really test out the V8. Yeah, it's definitely quick. It's got it's got plenty of power, and the nice thing about bigger SUVs like this is you have the third row, you have that added utility there, but then you can also tow stuff since this has a big V8 and it's a bigger size vehicle, with bigger brakes, and all that. To sum things up on the Armada, if you're in the market for a truck slash SUV. This is one of the routes that you have to check out because it's gonna have the higher towing capacity like a truck, but then it has more space and seating capacity like an SUV, so you get the best of both worlds. And with the smooth ride and some of the nice comfort features that this has, this is definitely one of the bigger size SUVs on the market that you have to check out if you are on the market for a third row SUV, which pretty much everyone is nowadays. And there we have it, everyone, the 2019 Nissan Armada. And as always, thank you everyone so much for watching. And again, a big shout out and thank you to Tim Daly Nissan in Murray here for providing us with the vehicle. Definitely check these guys out if you are in the market for a Nissan. But as always, if you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe, comment down below what you thought, and then I will see all of you in that next video.